A foggy day in London town had me low and it had me down. I talked about our veggie garden yesterday. Here's the pond. It is going to be back there because it is full sun and um we have like this idea of having like this i think i've told you this uh some type of a greenhouse structure something here and it can hold like pond stuff pond chemicals all of that and then um also kind of serve to like i said the other day i'm pinning some different looks that i want so i'll share that once i'm done house and you guys have got to go over and check it out they have done such a great job those ladies i tell my husband every day i was like they are so inspiring they're such hard workers and they just make their dreams come true and it's so beautiful so if y'all don't know what i'm talking about Several people ask what workout I was doing or what I was doing for workouts and I've shared in the past that I'm just trying to get my body moving again. I miss the gym so bad. So I use open fit here at the house. Perfect for us because the gym is 20 minutes away and in all reality, we just won't be 40 minutes in the car every day. So open fit works absolutely perfect for us. I want to show you what it looks like. Fit is a fitness and wellness app that you can download on any device, your phone, iPad, or your television like we did. You can pick any classes, strength training, uh, weights, yoga, stretching. I am currently doing this get moving and losing in four weeks. I'll show you here in one second um, what the workout looks like, but I love it because you can do this any time of the day. I feel so much better about life in general when I am working out. I think what I'm going to do is set a time every single day and just stick to it at least five days a week, Monday through Friday, and just stick to that time. I'm going to attach my link here. Um, you get 21 days free trial if you go through my link. And then after that, it's eight to $10 per month billed annually. But that is so much less expensive than a gym membership. So check it out. Do it with me. Where's that package from? China. <laughs> is this going to be your float or your birdhouse? <laughs> Are you going to be sad? It's... what um we got i'm gonna put it on this screen right here but it actually says built like a tank <laughs> yeah one bird would have flew in there and the thing would have collapsed deb grabbed these did you get these off of amazon i sure did <laughs> anyways we uh some of our spices were really really old so we grabbed some in our last order of thrive and we're filling these which I think are really cool. And then there are these for the top and then these stickers for the side. Hey, wanna help me with my spices? Hey, baby, don't stop now. So I've been every day trying to take one thing and organize it like yesterday i worked on the bathroom which i should show you what she did it's really nice today i'm doing the spices i'm gonna get that all organized tomorrow who knows
knows what it might be. Okay, and then it's my job to put on the stickers. You better hurry up because I know. have all these done and then we're not going to I'm already it. mixed up. This is uh, what she did in the bathroom. I wanted to show you because I think it's just so cool. She got these little plastic containers and they have little feet on the bottom so they don't slide back and forth. But she organized everything. You did so good, Deb. <laughs> I don't like the knife in your hand at this moment in time. But um, I love these. It, they work out so well. So I'm going to link these here too because I know I will get asked. Here are what the spice bottles look like in the cabinet. I think they look really good. I love that. And then I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. I shared this a long time ago. This is our spice cabinet that we made out of, what What did they think this was? Some type of an attic access or something. I'll, I'll link the post where we talked about it, but um, this is our wall spice. I mentioned a few days ago that I'm going to do a fall, affordable fall fashion finds. Is that what I said? Anyways, that is coming here shortly. This really cute shirt and the jeans that I have on, they're really adorable and you'll love them. I think the jeans are under 20 and this shirt might be also, but all coming next. On another note, Deb caught something else on our trail cam. And then, where was that um, print? Oh, back behind, the, or back where the, so not where the uh, thing was caught on the camera, but back towards where we're going to put our garden. Um, there is a big print. I mentioned a few times over the last couple of weeks that I grabbed um, several pieces for this upcoming season, perfect for fall. Um, they happen to all be from Walmart, so I'm going to turn the camera around and show you. It includes this shirt and these pants. This shirt is one of my favorites out of the order. Um, it comes in two different colors, like a black and white or a black and gray and white. Um, it is oversized, but I still got my normal size. This is a large. It is perfect with leggings because of the length and it is under $15. I, if I were you, I would make sure and grab this because I'm pretty sure there were three colors when I placed my order. Let's talk about these jeans. They are from Sophia Vergara. Um, they come in double zero. I've never even heard of such <laughs> to a 22. Um, if you are not a fond lover of jeans, these are a must. I love them so much that I want them in every color. They feel, they're, they're leggings at the top, so they feel like leggings, but they look exactly like jeans. They fit so well, true to size. Um, several different like washes, I believe, and colors under $20. True size, grab. I shared these sneakers the last time from Walmart. I heard from a bunch of you that you got them and love them. They are really squishy on the inside. They are so cute. This is like a gold color. They match so much and they are under 15 bucks. Next up is this uh, zebra type sweatshirt. It is really, really soft. It comes in extra small, up to 3X, I believe. Um, I sized up. This is a um, more fitted sweatshirt. I sized up, so this is an extra large. I added a white, just a plain white t-shirt underneath it to give it a little bit more length, but it is really cute, really soft, and I believe under 20. I'm going to type it. I had this sweatshirt on with the same jeans, and I just switched out the sneakers. I love these. I wear these all the time. They're really, really comfortable, true to size. And they have like this sparkly, sparkly stuff. I think they're under 25. 
I shared these denim capri leggings last month, but I thought I needed to share them again because I wear them all the time and love them. Like I said, they're pull-on, they are so comfortable, true to size, so get your normal. I believe they're 36 and well worth it. This shirt is another really good one. Um, it's really soft. It has like the ribbed um, cuffs on, not cuffs, but you know what I'm saying, right there, now you can see it. Um, and on the bottom, perfect with leggings. Um, comes in, I believe, extra small to 3XL. True to size, this is a large. I want this in every color. It's so flattering, I love the neck. Excellent. And I've had these retro uh, looking sneakers for probably over a year. I have worn the heck out of them. They match so many outfits. They are adorable and I, I think they're under 15. Walmart has really outdone themselves in the fashion department recently. My entire order was a win, win, win. Um, I have everything linked in my like to know it that I shared today. And also there are a few other pieces that I didn't share that are still excellent in my reel. So if you see something over there, it's linked here in this link. So check me out, follow me on Like to Know It, and also check out Walmart too while you're there. Deb just took the grandsons out and look what she found. What are these? These are, what are they? They're mushrooms. Mushrooms. <laughs> these are, are they lion manes? Lion's mane or something. Ooh. Homie's story tour continues tonight with Wesley. He just posted in his stories. Um, Kate and MB should have theirs in a highlight. I'm going to take all of them here. Make sure that you go check all of them out. And we are tomorrow. I think I'm going to do a spooky mantle idea, I think, if it works out. I have it planned in my head. If not, I'll figure something out. So make sure you check back in stories.